Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. The fall housing market is looking bright. Home prices aren't making huge gains, but they're on the rise. Well, buying and selling tends to cool down when the fall weather arrives. Problem solver Susan Hogan looks at the weather and whether this time is a better time to buy or rent. If you're sitting on the fence between renting or buying, you may be wondering if it's a good time to make the move. The answer really depends on where that move will take you. The housing market doesn't hibernate in fall and winter, but it's not nearly as hot as spring and summer, and those without school-age children may find it a good time to make a move. Recent analysis by real estate website Zillow found that in many metro areas, renting is more costly than buying, simply because rents kept climbing during the recession and didn't drop like housing prices. Home affordability has been helped by low mortgage rates, which have sat around 4% for much of this year, but may not stay there as the economy improves. If you are looking to buy, the time would be now because when mortgage rates go up, your purchasing power goes down and it goes down pretty substantially. But there's more to the housing market than mortgage rates, and that includes demand. Some markets are more challenging even in the slower season. New York, San Francisco, and LA are among cities where prices have had the sharpest rebounds problem is that uh, home values are rising faster than income. So these are markets that are virtually unaffordable to the masses. Even if the time is right for your particular market, it may not be right for you. Before leaping from renting to buying, you'll need a down payment, a solid credit history to ensure lower mortgage rates, and a budget to pay for things like maintenance that a landlord takes care of now. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.